I'm Alex. And I'm Teddy. And we are the, the Button Mappers. Hey, the Button Mappers. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the Butt Mappers. We're the we're the Butt Mappers Mini. We're the we're the Mini Butt Mappers. Is this like a Mini Alex? We're the yeah. It's well, we're talking about the Genesis Mini today, so I thought we'd be like the Button Mappers Mini. You know, like hi, I'm Alex. Welcome to the Mini Butt Mappers. And I'm Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alex, and I'm Teddy. Welcome to the Butt we Mappers. <laughs> <laughs> Mini. <laughs> This <laughs> <laughs> is a very tiny episode of the Button Mappers today. Yes, the today we're talking about the Genesis Mini. The abridged <laughs> intro, just when you thought it couldn't get any shorter. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude, the Genesis Mini came out and it rocks, and it rocks. But it's it's uh it's not perfect. Nothing's perfect. You know, no, no, nothing's ever going to be perfect except for the Sega Saturn. But mm. you know beyond the point well i think what's beautiful about the saturn is that it's imperfect and that's why it's perfect exactly and but we both picked up the genesis mini and i got the north american release teddy the japanese what did, what did you get the japanese because teddy wanted the japanese one mm, wakarimashita why did you get the japanese one tell me why tell so me there were why. some <laughs> Ain't nothing but a Genesis. Um, <laughs> I got the Japanese one because I'm not going to say the six button controllers, but let's just say the six button controllers. No, it's not That's that. A big but, advantage. Um, yeah, the. I want to say Saturn now, but we're talking about the Genesis. The Genesis Mini Genesis. for the Japan region has games a few games that make a little more sense to me than the lineup for the u.s version okay and let's just you know let's put it out here if you don't know what the heck the genesis mini is you're like what the hell are you talking about what is this thing it's the new miniature console by sega that has 42 built-in genesis games comes with two controllers runs through hdmi and looks like a tiny sega genesis what did you think when you heard sega was making consoles again <laughs> Whoa, the Dreamcast 2! Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, um, I was skeptical of this thing, and I think we both were um, going into it when we first found out the announcement of the Genesis Mini, because I've been burned before. Um, at games has burned me. <laughs> Re- residual damage, you know. <laughs> you, have to uh, you know, to know, you know like you think about it, they, they've been doing these kind of like Sega Genesis flashback things for years now. But who's they? At Games? At Games. Yeah. And that's a difference, though. I, I think, like, the the ray of light kind of, like, kind of, like, sh- like, shined down whenever I heard that At Games wasn't attached to this project. It was M2. And M2 um, does all the uh, Sega Ages releases and stuff. So I was like, ooh, that's a... That's good. <laughs> yeah. Would you say some of the skepticism was warranted? Uh, I think we, did, which it's gone now, uh, but but we did a video on it on my on on Turbo Zone when we first found out about it, and I, I remember one of our big things was the they only released like half the list of games at the time, and it wasn't amazing, you know, it was like the list of games were like the same crap we see on like all the Sega collections, you know. Yeah, I, we have mentioned this in several videos, I believe, that the Genesis is almost overhashed at this point. If, is that a word? Over-hashed? Yeah. Rehash. Well, it's, it is. It is now. Yeah. <laughs> In the button mappers encyclopedia. I mean, I like hash browns, but you know, if you overhash it, you, know, hash. you have hash browns every morning. Overhash. Yeah, overhash. <laughs> Go to Waffle House. Can I, can I get these overhashed, please? Yes. I mean, that sounds pretty good, but it is. Uh, I mean, it is the Sega Genesis we're talking. So, I mean, I like the library. You like the library. It's not a bad thing to get more Sega Genesis games, but at the end of the day, part of me is like. Am I really getting something unique here? Well, it was like when they first announced it. It was like you know the, the Sonics, the Altered Beasts, the you know Streets of Rages. You know, it was the same same schlock we see in like every collection. You know, everything. I've played these games a thousand times. I own Sonic One 12 times. Um, 
that's fucking crazy. So, you know, it's just, you know, it's like, how many times can they feed us the same games? And I think we kind of both had that agreement. And that was like, why why are these games just the same things over and over again? Um, and then the second half of the list came out. And I think that's where both of us kind of like our, our opinion shifted quite a bit. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on mini consoles in the first place? I haven't bought into them. This is the first one I've bought. I didn't buy the NES Mini. I didn't buy the the SNES Mini. I, I didn't buy the PlayStation Mini. God forsake that thing. <laughs> um, I I just you know it's just it didn't appeal to me. I guess because I'm not a fa- I'm not a huge fan of those three consoles in, in, in particular. You know, mm-hmm. I mean I like some games on those consoles, but I'm not like a diehard fan. And you know I'm like oh I I can play Mario or. Zelda or Crash or you know whatever the hell those games are. Well, I don't, I don't think Crash is even on the PlayStation One. That's stupid. But That's so I don't know. Dumb. I can play those games. <laughs> I can play those games multiple other ways. So I was like, why would I buy this thing with only a couple games on it? Um, and then you know Sega makes one, and I'm a fucking hypocrite because I buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fair though. Um, we're gonna go into the individual games in a bit. But is there anything else you want to say about the mini? pre-purchase um pre-purchase um i was excited to try out there was a lot of promise with the third part the third party offerings which i guess you know we're gonna go through the games in a second so we won't really need to um, talk about that now um and the fact that it came with two controllers i think was a big plus to me because i know like the uh the nes mini and the snes mini came with one controller is that right and then you had to buy a second mm-hmm. one is that how those yeah, I know, I'm not so, sure. I know there know. was two separate orders you can make. One is this one controller, and then there's another version with two controllers. Oh. I got mine on Play Asia, I don't though. So. Oh, I see. I only followed. I think the the NES Mini was the only one that really interested me, and that was when that first came out, and like all the scalpers were buying that thing up. Oh, which are we talking? We're talking about the NES or the SNES? I'm sorry. Both, both. But I'm saying yeah. the NES one was what, what was the only one that really interested mm. me. The SNES Mini. I never cared about the SNES Mini because I have most of those games. Mm-hmm. So why why would I buy it? <laughs> so, okay. Um, but yeah, let's get into the library of games. And like you said, the North American version and the Japanese versions have different games. You want to go through your list first? Yeah, I appreciate uh, the sentiment. Thank you. So here's the full list of Mega Drive mini games. Wow, it's I'm, I'm reading this from IGN, and it says here's the fill list. <laughs> Phil, where, <laughs> this is Phil's list. Uh, Phil from IGN, dude. Come on. <laughs> I hope that's list. not the Phil Fish. Anyways, um, Castlevania Bloodlines, Comic Zone, okay. Gunstar Heroes, Mado Monogatari 1, Powerball, Puyo Puyo 2. Okay, I don't know how much I trust this. 2. Maybe it's 2. Rent a Hero, Shining Force. Sonic 2, Space Harrier 2, Thunder Force 3, Super Fantasy Zone, Musha, World of Illusion, Starry Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, Streets of Rage 2, The Hybrid Front, I don't even remember seeing that, Land Stalker, you know, stalk in the land, Contra, Hard Corpse, Dina Brothers 2, Game no Kanzume Otukuyo, Ghouls and Ghosts, Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition, something's wrong here because that's not on mine, Mega Man, The Wily Wars, Golden Axe, The Revenge of Shinobi, Other, everything else seems fine so far, Fantasy Star 4, Beyond Oasis, Story of Thor, A Successor of the Light, Puzzle and Action, Tant R, Party Quiz Mega Q. No, this is wrong. I'm seeing like Yu Yu Hakusho. That's not on there. Um, Tetris, Mm. that is. Darius, that's also on there. Virtua Fighter 2 is not. I don't know why they listed that. Alicia Dragoon, Monster World 4. Keep Chameleon is not on there. Road Rash 2 is on there. Maybe you got a bad list. Maybe. IGN, come on. What the hell? Isn't this a gaming channel? <laughs> Let's leave it to IGN. Eternal Champions is not on there. Something's wrong. Maybe I'm reading yours. 
No way. Because why would it... They effed up this list. Yo, that's bad. I say, yeah, because like me, like like you and I look through both the games, and I, I don't remember those being on yours either. Wow, what a bad... Thanks, IGN, for like screwing up my list. You fucked up our podcast, you really, IGN. You really dropped the ball on this one. You owe us. You, you owe us that past like minute that Teddy was reading that. I know. I'm so disappointed. I, I raised my eyebrow at Mado Monogatari, but then... Everybody listening, just fucking shitpost IGN in the comments. Yeah, good idea. Or make an acronym that embarrasses them. <laughs> Inept Gaming Network. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick! Super cool. <laughs> um, so I have to find a new list. But most of these are right for the most part. Um, what do you what do you think about my list? Um, I know you, we we went through both of our different consoles whenever you um, talked about yours, which I won't talk about mine yet because I'm about to read it off. But I know there's a few games I don't have that I wanted, like Musha, like fucking Musha, <laughs> man. <laughs> which I'm sad to say I haven't even tried yet. I really should. I'm almost like intimidated to start it because I know how good it is and like how well accepted it is in the gaming community and like how expensive yeah. it is. It's like one of those things. It's like <laughs> once you own it, it just becomes shelf porn. It's not even. It's yeah. not even like a game. Yeah, I, I know. I know exactly what you mean, but it's still nice to have a way to play it. You know. Yeah. And there's a few of the you know there's a few of the games on there that you listed. I think was it like Renta Hero. Um, I think I'll. I've heard that one. I, I think even... I wanted to try that one before. See, th I don't know. I don't think that's on there. Do so you know that one's on there? I don't think so. Um, I did get huh. Slap Fight. Slap Fight. Gotta love Slap Fight. <laughs> that's another one. I think it's a shooter. I'm really not sure. But uh, I want to... Gotta love Slap Fight. You know, I d I've never heard of it, but... Um... <laughs> All right, I'm going to trust I the guess... Wikipedia list here. I think this one is more accurate. So I'm going to start again. I'll try okay. and just blaze through them. And it's A to Z. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Alicia Dragoon, Assault Suit Lanos, Beyond Oasis, Castlevania Bloodlines, Columns is not on there. What is going on? Does anyone have the right fucking list? I'm so, I'm like wow. tripping out here. I think the only way for me to fix this is to like actually turn on the console and look. I, I have to come back to you. It's not fine. It's not okay. It's ruined. Wikipedia and IGN just like drop the ball. Oh wait, hold on. The ones okay on on Wikipedia, the ones you're supposed to have check marks in the Japanese version, right? Yeah, but. Huh. Oh yeah, I, I see what you mean. You know what I think? All I, right, let me try mine. You let, know what? Hold on. Hold let me see. How Maybe I have, like, the Chinese version. I don't know. Okay, let me go through mine. Sure. Okay, Alex Kidd and the, and the Enchanted Castle, Alicia Dragoon, Altered Beast, Beyond Oasis, Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Moose. <laughs> he's, he's a moose now. Okay. Castlevania Bloodlines, Columns, Comic Zone, Contra, Hard Corpse, Darius, or Darius, or even Darius, I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> Dr. Botanist, Mean Bee Machine, slash Puyo Puyo. Um... Dynamite Hetty, Earthworm Jim, Echo the Dolphin, Eternal Champions, Ghouls and Ghosts, Golden Axe, Gunstar Heroes, Kid Chameleon, Landstalker, Light Crusader, Mega Man The Willy Wars, <laughs> um, Monster World 4, Fantasy Star 4, The End of, of the Millennium, uh, where are we at, where are we at, um, Road Rash 2, Shining Force, Shinobi 3, The Best One, um, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic Spinball, Space Harrier 2, Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition, Streets of Rage 2, Strider, Super Fantasy Zone, Sword of Vermilion, Tetris, um, Thunder Force 3, Toe Jam and Earl, Vector Man, Virtual Fighter 2, Wonder Boy in Monster World, and World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and Donnell Duck. Mmm. And that, yeah, that's, that list is correct. That is that. Is, those are the deep games that, that are on my unit. Good. I'm glad the list was reliable. Thoughts and impressions. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Where to start? Where to start? 
Not a bad lineup, but there's some questionable choices. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that it has some of the third-party games like Earthworm Jim, Castlevania, Contra, Mega Man the Wily Wars has never been released over here. You know, like 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 a few of those games are really nice inclusions. Um, of course, you gotta have the staple Sega games like Sonic, Sonic 2, you know, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage 2, you know, Shining Force. Um, and then there's some really questionable choices here. Um, like Sonic Spinball. Like we have Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. And then Sonic Spinball. I think uh, Why? It's, it's missing a Sonic title. Yeah, it's missing uh, what, Sonic 3 or Sonic 3 and Knuckles or... Why is Spinball here? I, I mean, Spinball's fun. Don't get me wrong. I, I do have fun with that game, but... Why? You know? <laughs> it's not it's not a particularly great game. And I don't think anybody's picking up the Genesis Mini to play Spinball. The, same thing with Space Harrier 2. It's not a great poor Space Harrier. Um, what else was it? Uh, Virtual Fighter 2 is kind of dumb. It's not like... That's a 3D fighting game, and it's shrunk down for the Genesis version, and it's not very fun on, on the Genesis. Um, you know, it just seems like there's some there's some big games. I know yours has um, Shining Force 2, mm -hmm. and mine only has Shining Force 1, and that kind of makes me upset. By the way, I did pull um, up a official list for mine, but continue. Okay, okay, why don't you go ahead and run through it real fast. Okay. I actually also wanted to point out some of the hypocrisy about the fact that you have fighting games on yours and you got a three-button controller. Oh, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. I, that's a big point for okay. me. Hold on. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so I went to play Asia here. This is the exact version I got. It's called Sega Mega Drive Asia. So I got an Asia version. This is super confusing because... You know, I went to pre-order the unit, and I guess I picked this one, but there's a Japan version, an Asia version, a Europe uh, version, a U.S. Weird. version. So I think, like, these things have, like, uh, different sets of games, but I don't... <laughs> Gotta collect them it's all. This <laughs> is so confusing, because the Japanese one looks identical. But here's the games. Gunstar Heroes, Comic Zone, Shining Force, Space Harrier 2, Sonic 2, Vampire Killer, so that's uh, Castlevania, Puyo Puyo 2... Sword of Vermilion, Wrestle Ball, Outrun 2019, Thunder Force 3, Super Fantasy Zone, uh, Galaxy Warrior, also known as Musha, Aleste, <laughs> I Love Mickey and Donald Duck Fushigi na Magic Box. I don't. Hell yeah, what? dude. Fushigi na Magic yeah. Box. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. Who does not love Mickey and Donald Duck Fushigi na Magic Box? <laughs> <laughs> Bare Knuckle 2, so that's uh, Streets of Rage 2. La Land Stalker, Contra, Iron Corpse? I think it's Hard Corpse, but okay. Uh, Game no Kanzume Otukuyo. I still don't know what that is. I love Mickey Mouse Fushigi no Oshiro Daiboken. Um, I guess they really love Mickey Mouse. That's Castle Evolution. Yeah, that one would be Castle. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog, classic. Ghouls and Ghosts, the Super Shinobi. So it's not the best one, but it's super. Golden X, Wonder Boy in Monster World, Puyo Puyo, Fantasy Star 4, Tant R, Rockman Mega World, so that's Wily Wars, uh, Story of Thor, that's Beyond Oasis, Alien Soldier, Assault Suit Lanos, Columns, Strider, Alicia Dragoon, Snow Bros, Nick and Tom, Slap Fight, Road Rash 2, Shining Force 2, Monster World 4, Langrisser 2, Darius, and Tetris. And that list is correct. Okay, okay. So what do you think about your list? Love it. For your Asia unit? There's, um, I would say I love like 80% of that list. And then maybe maybe 70%. And then 10%, uh, I'm just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I'm, you know, mine's about the same way. It's like most of the games, I'm like, okay, these are classics. These are, these really deserve to be here. And then like, there's a, there's a few choices that I'm just like, why, why, you know, like, why? <laughs> there are some like, standouts on here though. Like, I was playing Snow Bros for the hell of it. Like, I've never, I don't know what this is. It looks cool. It's, it's pretty much like, it, it's like a Taito game, and it's, it seems like a fun co-op arcade style game. Uh, as far as classics, you know, we share some. I'm happy to share them. I'm happy to play them. I loved playing Bloodlines. That was so much fun. And Musha, fucking Musha, is, you know, it's pretty much the selling point of the console. Let's be honest. But I got Earthworm Jam. You did, but I got Musha. That's, 
Yeah, Ambusha. It's just... Okay, you, you, you mentioned it. Let's get the elephant in the room. Bring him out. So your unit came with two six-button controllers, correct? Yeah, but I have no fighting games. My unit came with two three-button controllers, and I have three fucking fighting games. <laughs> Almost 10% of your library is fighting games. I, I, Street Fighter 2 is not playable with a three-button. I have Eternal <laughs> Champions is not playable with a three button. That's not playable with like a Virtual six Fighter. <laughs> Vir, Virtual Fighter Two is the only one that is playable with a three button, and it's not very good. Yeah. Honestly, that's <laughs> like, it's so bizarre. Like, I don't, I don't know what to say about it. Like, I mean, we arranged a trade, so like, we're gonna, we're gonna trade a controller. Well, and and I've heard theories, and I think I've shared this with you that um, Retro was it, yeah Retro Bit just made a USB six button genesis controller that's compatible with the mini and there's theories that they did this so you would buy the retro bit controller um and then use it on the mini well it's like you know because it's like because because it's like uh, sherry sorry it's it's officially licensed by sega mm. and it's compatible with the mini okay. and then there's another one that i showed you that's a wireless one coming out soon it's going to be it's like eight bit do that's going to be compatible with the mini and the switch which is the one i might actually end up picking up because it's wireless mm -hmm. um so, you know, it feels kind of fishy on my end because, I mean, I don't mind three-button controllers, but like I said, like, I can't play Street Fighter 2 or, or Eternal Champions with that thing. And it's not even like it was a mix-up. You got yours in the store, you know? And it came with that Yeah, I, I went to Walmart. I walked to Walmart and bought yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Mine was like Play Asia, And, I mean, you know, it came in good condition. And I, I have to say, as far as aesthetic and everything, it looks original and controllers feel nice and like you know they pretty much are sega genesis six button controllers but again why am i using a six button controller here there is no game on here that requires it yeah it well i mean i like the feel of the three button controller you know but it just feels kind of weird that i have games that aren't compatible with it so uh, that was like the bizarre you know um despite that you know we have we do obviously we're gonna call out like the bullshit when we see it like that's you know granted but after having bought it you know we both bought into the thing are you content with it yeah yeah, yeah. i've had a lot of fun so far and i mean i couldn't be like oh yeah i've played every game 100 percent. they're all they all run the way they should and they're all fantastic but I, i've played enough of this thing so far to, to to see that there's there's not an issue with the with the slowdown or the button input or anything like that you know who, who cares if maybe, like, the sound might be off, like, a frame or something like that? Like, you're not going to notice that shit. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> um, and it's a really well-put-together mini console. Um, and while I, I have a, f a few issues with the game lineup I got and the controller, I think overall I'm still happy with it. I agree. And, you know, if you're emulating games anyway, you're probably dealing with sound delay, as it is. Mm -hmm. So... I don't think it's a fair picking point for the console. It does have save states, which is super nice. Um, I know you cheated your way through Castlevania. But I will. I'm I will I will make my way through it out. officially. Well, I'm going to keep calling you out on okay. that. So. Well, by the map out. <laughs> by the time of the map out, I will have successfully completed it without save states. That's my word. Um, no, but it, it is a really nice feature. And... Um, I, I do wish they would have given you more options for like the backgrounds. They only give you like a couple options. Which one do you use? Really, the black one. I do too. Yeah, because the other ones kind of look goofy. Yeah. Um, but I wish they could have given you like something. Like I know like the PS4 collection has has a few on there, and one of them is like a grid almost. Mm -hmm. And that's the one I usually like to keep on is the grid one because I, I, I think it looks nice. Like you know, kind of fits the Genesis box. Fantasy art. Star Two thing going on. Yeah. You know, the battle sequence, it has like yeah. this grid. You yeah. Know? Uh, the, but I have to say, I, as an owner of the SNES Mini, the variety is still appreciated. The SNES Mini has like four backgrounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you think this uh, this console, like uh, library wise, stacks up to the other, to the SNES Mini? You get twice the number of games, and it's not like they put a bunch of filler in here. One of the problems with that games was that they put a goddamn load of filler in there, you know? Um, but, and you know, the super library is not, you know, full of BS either, but there's 21 games, I guess. 
Yeah. You know? So, um, I, I like the lineup, and I'd say I could play more than half of it and enjoy it, you know, successfully. And like you, you know, I've, I, I haven't played every single game on the console. I haven't tested it, but I'm not a game tester. You know, I'm a game player. And I played through Castlevania Bloodlines, Sonic 1, Sonic 2. Um, there's a few more on this list that I've also given the fair light of day. Snow Bros. Um, I could take some time and really scroll through this, but I could let you know, too, that I really have not run, outrun 2019. I've not run into any um, major issues. Of course, in Sonic 2, once you start going too fast, you start ending up in some of the loop sections, like, you know, off screen. Like, how did that happen? But yeah. that happens anyway because of how that game is programmed. I do believe the Mini actually runs faster than an actual Genesis, um, so that's a, a neat little note. Um, so, hey, whatever. <laughs> um, so, Teddy, if you had to include, um, let's just say, I don't know, we would do like five first-party games or something like that, or maybe like five third-party games or something, like, to include. Can we start by, like, dropping five games? Okay, okay, yeah, go ahead and drop five games from your list, and I'll drop five games from my list. Okay. Um, even though this is the Japanese version, I want to drop some of these Japanese games. There's one that's a fucking quiz show. What am I going to do with that? Even in Japan, I'm sure they were like crying. Like, why could they not have put in Shinobi 3, a.k.a. the best Shinobi? No, I don't know. But um, if they could have put some stuff in. They could have put... Um, well, look, before I get to the what could they have put in, let me just drop some first. Um, so that's one quiz show game. Um, Mickey Mouse World of Illusion. I haven't played it, but I'm going to be honest. If I'm going to play a Mickey Mouse game, it's going to be Castle. You know? Hey, World's pretty good. I yeah. believe it. But, you know, and I think you're going to agree with me on the swap out for that one. But, you know, uh, we'll okay. come back to it. Um, Tetris, man. Why? Tetris and Darius are special cases. Um, but it's not so really, like the class. It's not. There's a there's a thousand dollar version of Tetris you can get on the Genesis. But, but this isn't but, it. Yeah, but when you when you buy the box though, on, on the box it's it, it's advertised as forty games plus those two because they're not traditional Genesis uh, games. You can't go out and buy the cards of those. Fine. They're, they're kind fine. of special cases. Right. Well, so. I want to take it off. If I could put okay. an arcade well. game in, I would put a different one. Uh, columns, just get rid of it, man. I'm done with columns. Stop giving me columns. <laughs> columns. columns. <laughs> <laughs> and one more. Space Harrier 2. God damn it. Okay. You. I don't All mean right, to just um, say you, but you know. Shit, I had I had my list and then I forgot. Um, Alex Kid and the Enchanted Castle. Right. Chuck that shit out. Of <laughs> um, Echo the Dolphin. I'm um, that one. I don't like that game. Mm. Um, I don't know if I take it off. I, I know it is appreciated by some people. I don't. I don't. It's not. I'm not those people. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, I was gonna take Road Rash two off of here, but I actually do like seeing it here because it is a good EA release, um, and there's not a lot of those on here. Um, and you know, they were pretty active during the Genesis time. Mm -hmm. um, spinball, fucking get Spinball out of here. So that's three. Space Harrier two, and Virtual Fighter two. Those are my five games to get out. So, uh, Alex Kidd, Echo the Dolphin, Spinball, Space Harrier, and Virtual Fighter. Okay. I think it's a little easier for you to pick than me, but I also had like five that, I mean, I, I'd be easy to just say bye to. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, uh, Spinball. <laughs> okay, so five games. Do you want to just do five games? It, it can be just, it, just any Genesis release? Sure. I'm kind of going off the top okay. here, so I mean... You know, I, I am looking at my my physical collection. I'm gonna start with ones that I I have there that I'd still want to see. Give me Sonic Three, or don't give yeah. me a Sega Genesis. I mean, it just does not make sense. Like, why have, why not have the original trilogy? I don't understand. The same thing with the Super Nintendo. Why did they give me Donkey Kong Country, but they did not give me Donkey Kong Country Two? Like, you know, I I can't explain that. Um, NBA Jam. To me, that's a classic. Oh, you know, that is a good one. I think that belongs there. Of sports games, that would be the one that I would pick. Um, I, I need some time to really think about a few others. Can you can you tell me two? Okay. Um, two. I, I'll do five. Okay. So, um, these are. I'm I'm more picking from games that I do think represent the the Genesis, and I won't mention Sonic Three or or 
or jam because you just mentioned those. Mm-hmm. Um, Rocket Knight Adventures. Oh, good pick. Yeah, Rocket Knight Adventures, good game. Mortal Kombat Two. I think it would have been a better fighting game than Virtual Fighter Two to put on here. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's that's definitely a good one to, to stick on there. Um, shit, I had I had I had more in this. Hold I on. got you on one. <laughs> um, this one's gonna blow your mind. It's Michael Jackson Moonwalker. That one, I have actually played that game, but I I do know it's popular. Yeah, that's probably why I would put it on too. Yeah, and you know it's the same thing with uh with uh, NBA Jam or like Mortal Kombat. It just makes sense, you know. It's just what you think of. Um, Desert Strike, I'd put Desert Strike on there, or Jungle Strike. Pick your you know take your pick your poison. Mm. Um, those are also good EA releases. Um, Quack Shot. Mm-hmm. Quack Shot is one of my favorites. Yeah, definitely. And I think yeah. that would be for me the World of Illusion swap out. I'm not gonna pick that. Yeah, but, you know that's the one that makes sense. We've talked about that. I, You've I, said that. I need one more. Pulse Man for me more. because this is the Japanese Genesis Ooh, we're talking. That's that's true. Um, Pulse Man's a good choice for the Japanese one. Um, maybe I want another fighting game, especially if, if they're gonna if I'm gonna make them give me a six button controller. I want another one, so maybe I'd put I put an SNK game. Maybe Fatal Fury and or Samurai Showdown. Okay, those are both good picks. So too. Let's say Samurai Showdown. So okay, because it's you know because it's different. Yeah, good pick. Um, I go. Man. See, I want to say like Streets of Rage, but you're getting Streets of Rage too, so that just makes sense. Mm. 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 I was just looking at one. Herzog's Fi, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, Herzog's Fi is pretty good. I wonder where I saw that. Herzog's <laughs> <laughs> Fi. <laughs> What about um like more licensed games? What do you think of like you know because there's like oh. like Aladdin or Lion King? Oh, you mean like Clue Clue Land? Like Aladdin <laughs> or Lion King, you know? <laughs> um, yeah. Well, if you know that's the thing is if I was gonna do the Disney swap out, I would probably put either Aladdin or the Lion King. Oh, okay. But I think well, you know I, I don't think as far as representing can, it, representing the console. You know, Castle Illusion's fine. Yeah, no, you gotta keep Castle Illusion. Mm-hmm. That's like the Disney game for the console, I know. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I just... Overall, I do think it's worth it. Is it worth <laughs> it, Spencer? Is it worth it? Uh, I, <laughs> I do think it is worth it. Um, I You know what? I, I wanted to add something, and I know this is, this is a pipe dream and something that is not going to happen anytime soon or probably won't happen ever um wouldn't it be cool teddy if you bought this thing say instead of the 80 bucks or whatever you paid for it i don't mind what's 80 bucks um i don't know how much yours cost 100 uh, 100 okay so what if instead of that it was 150 okay but listen here you get the 42 games on the console and also you can connect it to the internet and download more games like buy more games I would take that over the potential mod that's looking to come out for the system yeah. where um, you can insert ROMs because I hate doing that. I don't like using my computer to, to input ROMs onto devices. You know, my roommate, like a couple months ago, basically took my SNES Mini and did that with it. So, I mean, and it's fine, but I'm not using my computer for that. You know? Yeah, it's just like uh, like... Okay, so I get the I, I get the point. That they, like they're like, oh, well, we can mis- just make another mini console later. But I don't want to buy more of these things. You know, like I have the one. It's more of like a novelty item. I, you know, I play it. You know, I'm like, oh, this is fun. But I'm not gonna collect them. You know, and I I just think it it, it would make more sense if Sega or, or or whoever Nintendo PlayStation whoever if they made one of these mini consoles, made it to where you can pay five ten bucks per game download more games to your console keep making money off the mini units and you know it's still not a high cost i think like, that these I, companies pretty, are so simple. out of touch with consumer demands and awareness of what exists the retro pie is not no you know people yeah. people are aware of what you can do with retro games nowadays so like you said I don't want to think of this thing as a novelty. 
I'm glad Sega made another console, but they made a novelty. They made they yeah, made a collector's I mean, item, more or less. Yeah, like me and you care about it because we care about the console. But like I said, I didn't care about the other mini units because I didn't connect those consoles. You know, like like I do the Genesis. Mm -hmm. And one of the one of the key things that really defined Sega in their console manufacturing days was how ahead of the times they were. So I would want them to embrace that. I don't want them to to you know what is it like pigeon shoe or something pigeon hole or I don't I don't know. <laughs> I like pigeon shoe. <laughs> They're trying to pigeon shoe their way through the through the uh, <laughs> the mini market, you know. Yeah, it's just you know I it just makes more sense. Plus, I mean you know I mean I'm just saying I, I know Nintendo doesn't need the money, but Sega can probably use the money. <laughs> and uh, you know I don't mind paying another five dollars to download you know the the first Streets of Rage or Sonic Three or whatever the hell you know. Mm-hmm. It, it makes perfect business sense, and I, and I wish they would do this. Like, it'd be you know, it definitely bring back, like, it really raise awareness for this for this uh, console, this like, mini console, and it would probably bring back more. It bring people into the library more. People would become more Genesis, you know, like there'd be a lot more Genesis fans. It actually really annoys me now that like we're talking about it because you know I know I know Sega is capable, you know I. Uh -huh. I've seen what they've done with like the Yakuza games and that franchise, and they put a lot of money into that. Um, why, why are they shipping out Sega Genesis Minis with the wrong controllers? You know, that's the dumbest thing I've. I, like, <laughs> that's the biggest problem with this thing, man. <laughs> that pisses me off. When I got mine, I was like, "Why do I have fighting games?" <laughs> oh, man. So, <laughs> at least they didn't use Clue Clue Land. Right. Yeah. So you know the three button controllers. You know, <laughs> <it's> just <laughs> what about those three button controllers? Though? Are they worth yeah. it? <laughs> are they? Are they worth the age it? Age old question. Fuck Clue Clue Land, dude. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's not, there's good games and then there's Clue Clue Land. Hey, I have Shinobi Three, the best one. You only have Super Shinobi and or Revenge of Shinobi. Do you think that one belonged on the Super Mini? I don't believe it belongs anymore. <laughs> I don't care for that game. Super Shinobi? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Mm hmm I don't get a lot of flack for that for, from other Genesis fans, but I, I've... I don't know. It doesn't have a surfboard. It doesn't have a... You're damn right. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have a surfboard. <laughs> um... So I I think it boils down to it. You know, obviously we're gonna we we are the we are the mappers and we're gonna we're gonna map out the issues and anything we talk about. Um, but you know, I think it's still safe to say that we both still enjoy this thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not upset about. It. I mean, I like I said, no, I I played I'm, through Bloodlines twice, and you know, it's always good to play Sonic too. And you know, yeah. Now, if if this thing would have turned out a complete dumpster fire like the PlayStation Classic. No, oh, I, I would be ranting mm. right now. <laughs> because from what I heard, that thing is just not playable. Um, you know, it's like they used like the the European PAL versions on the American unit, which makes it run like five times slower than it should have or something. Like I saw these things at Best Buy for $20. Yeah, no, nobody wants that. And I hope I hope this doesn't turn out that way. But oh, you know quality-wise, yeah, it, it, ha it hasn't turned out that way. Mm. I just hope sales-wise. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, even though it's been getting a little flack in the community, I think that, uh, for the most part, people are, are content. But, I, again, I'm not okay with content. I think they should go above and beyond. Of course. Well, of course, if they do another one of these, they have improvements they need to make. Um, I think M2 is definitely capable. I mean, once again, they've been doing the greatest job with the Sega Ages releases. Absolutely. If you own a Switch, you should look into them. I do wish that they were coming out a little more periodically, but... Hey, speaking of which, there's two more coming out this month. What? What are they? Yeah. Columns 2. Damn it. And some other game that i don't actually know it's got a japanese name okay you know if you go to the japanese eShop, like i can't puzzle do and this but there's a, a few exclusive sega ages titles Ooh. i don't uh, yeah. I, I need to take, check it take out. a look check it out yeah that japanese eShop though how about that i know you need a japanese credit card how about that yeah it's stupid yeah pretty bad <laughs> uh you, we, can't you buy like a japanese points card or something sure like, uh there you go. 
Yeah. Anything's possible. If you put your mind to Anything's it. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. You know what's not possible? What? What? Impossible <laughs> ukulele of the impossible <laughs> wear, dude. Yeah. It just came out today. Well, okay. yeah, that's that's on our horizon. It's on the horizon, yes, folks, for video projects. I'm really looking forward to that one. So, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to us complain about the Genesis Mini, even though we love the thing. We also want to complain because we are Sega fans and we want the best. Yep, gotta love them buttons. I love the buttons. I love the mappers. Thanks for joining us on this mini episode of the Button Mappers. See you yeah. next time, guys. Even though it was mini, it was really a major good term. <laughs> you sound like a Muppet. <laughs> it was a major good term. <laughs> we are the <laughs> Button Mappers. <laughs> Bye. We are <laughs> the Button Mappers. Fuck Click Land. Bye. Fuck that <laughs> game. Fucking Click Land. Who, fucking, who was like, oh shit, Click Land sounds good. Hey, what should we name our new game? Fucking Clue Clue Land? I don't know. I don't give a shit. This game sucks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so and I stopped my recording hours. there. Oh. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. 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 Okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm done. Bye. <laughs> Where are the button members? Bye. Go. See you guys later, Bossy. Bye. <laughs> Hey y'all, don't forget to subscribe to them button mappers.